it again. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis, they told us in practice, using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. And it wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get it right before this game. And I think they have to be happy with the result. That throw good for four. It's second down. And they're going to speed things up here. To the air again with Bradford. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's brought down. So oftentimes you see defensive holding. Here it's offensive holding for the flag. Thomas, the lone receiver left. They'll throw again. Bradford. And incomplete. C.J. Anderson, the intended target. And it's third down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. They give it to Anderson. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They begin the drive with Johnson, and he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They go play action now. Wilson, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Wilson, and he locates Luke Wilson. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. And the yellow flag hurts this offense, and now they face a tough third down. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And the, now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime.
So on fourth down, here's the Canadian-born punter, John Ryan, to kick it away for Seattle. Emmanuel Sanders deep for the Broncos. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. That's what, all right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. immediately there no gain on the play there second down no gain on that run and while the team is down there's still time to come back and win the football game if i'm the offensive coordinator though i've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more Again, Anderson. Oh, he shifts past him. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice to do right. He struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Face mask. Defense. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Following the penalty, Anderson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First down, Bradford. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? A second down throw for Bradford. Over the middle, open is Thomas. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So completion on second down, that brings up third. A 
Again, it's Bradford. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. And McManus able to put it through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. Spinning past him. Receiver left, two to the right. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. They'll come out in the pistol. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now Wilson on first down, and it's hauled in by Nick Vanette. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Holding offense. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. Pistol, here's Johnson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, are usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Play action. Now Wilson. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense in that middle ground here on third down. Third and five. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Play clock winding down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And that pickup of a first down, 
that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They go back to the ground with Johnson. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Dominic Rogers cromartie up to make the tackle. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On second down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. And the play clock's running down. On third down, Wilson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They come out here in the eye. The busy night continues for Johnson. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And the Broncos go to a nickel set on third down. Yeah, they've got an extra DB out there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. And the seemingly endless drive continues. From the two-yard line now, it's first and goal. This is process on the carry. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Once more. Now here's third and goal. 
He'll try to run it in. Johnson. And he gets. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Bradford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Holding offense. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push him back. Changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. Now Bradford. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he showed a nice little juke, but then the window quickly closed. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second and long. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Bradford. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. In the backfield is Anderson. Bradford to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Desmond Trufant, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead, barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? Now, hang on here, timeout called, timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. And some extra depth to the secondary here. They're in the dime. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. Now 
And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. Call it, Babe Ruth, ball it. Your boyfriend's got a cauliflower, and I'm a so sue me. Who you, Judge Judy? Second the rubies, if life was a movie, then you could just call me the Goonies. You're not relevant, trolling on the internet. No respect, haven't moved out of your parents' basement yet. Big neck, coming with the beat that's gonna break your neck. Yeah, you, yeah, you can hear me. 